Hello, my name is Tom Kosnick. I'm the Chairman of the Board of Advisors for Silicon Valley Business Institute, or SVBI. Before I joined SVBI, I taught at the Harvard Business School from 1985 to 89, and then I taught at Stanford from 1990 to 2018. I retired from Stanford last summer because I wanted to spend more time in China and working with Chinese entrepreneurs and leaders um, here in Silicon Valley. I'm delighted to be part of SVBI because it is an MBA program that allows students from all over the world to learn some of the magic of Silicon Valley that I've been very happy to learn myself over the course of the years since I first came to Silicon Valley in 1980 to get a PhD at Stanford. My role in SVBI is first to be on the Board of Advisors where we're helping Angie and her team to think about how to grow the business. My second role is to be an instructor in the program, so I'm going to teach a number of the courses for the online MBA. And those two roles uh, complement each other very well because I really want to be part of the team that interacts with students from around the world. I love teaching and I especially love teaching where there are linkages between Silicon Valley and other countries especially China. I really love the SVBI online MBA program for several reasons. First of all, it has some of the best faculty I know that are teaching, so the students are going to get a big benefit from that. Second, the other students from around the world are students that you're going to benefit from. So the students will work together on projects, and so great faculty, great students. It's coming from a part of the world that's known for innovation and entrepreneurship, so that's a third strong reason to love it. And fourth, the price is amazing. It's such a good price. You couldn't possibly get an MBA for such a reasonable price anywhere else on earth. Why should you get an MBA? Well, first of all, if you have an undergraduate degree, whether it's in history or computer science or electrical engineering, there will come a point in your life, if you're working, where other people will say, you can only be an individual contributor unless you learn how to manage other people. The MBA is the best degree to learn how to manage people, relationships, customers, resources, even buildings, even all sorts of other things, even companies. And so the MBA is really a way to step from being an individual contributor to a leader who guides all sorts of things to make things happen. So there are several ways that an MBA will bring opportunities and advantages to you as an alum. The first is You'll see lots more opportunities because you're going to meet companies in the course of the MBA with SVBI that you wouldn't have met otherwise. You're going to meet mentors through the program who can be gateways to other opportunities. You're going to meet other students, you're going to meet professors, and so your network will dramatically expand and in that network will be other things that you can do, other places that you can work. So the network is a big part of the opportunity building. The second is people will look at you as an MBA alum from SVBI and they'll say, you can do things that other people can't do. They will believe that you can understand how to manage relationships across different country and cultural borders, which is important. They will believe that you can actually think about how things are done in Silicon Valley and compare that with how things are done in other cities. And that ability to compare Silicon Valley with other entrepreneurial cities is very important. That will open doors for you as well. And I think the last way that it will open up, or up opportunities is if you're curious about other places in the world, through the network that's available to you through SVBI community, you're going to have an opportunity to meet people in different cities and ask if you can come and visit with them and perhaps um, even get a job from companies that are headquarters in those cities. So although we're based in Silicon Valley, SVBI is really your gatekeeper to cities all over the world where entrepreneurship is flourishing. I love SVBI and I love Angie Ma and her entire team. I love the students, I love the community. Come join us, be part of this amazing global learning network. Okay, uh, thank you everyone. Uh, welcome to the info session today. Uh, this is James from SVBI. 
and uh, I'm hosting this info session to introduce our online MBA uh, degree program. Uh, thank you everyone for participating. Uh, okay, uh, let's get started. Uh, so first, here's the agenda today. Uh, we will first uh, introduce SVBI and uh, our academic certificate. Uh, we will describe uh, the details about our online MBA degree program. And uh, uh, last is the most important part is uh, uh, we're going to introduce the tuition relief scholarship uh, to help like reduce the cost for the students uh, acquiring their MBA degree. Uh, okay, let's get started. So first, uh, for SVBI, we are founded in Silicon Valley, uh, which is the beating heart of the technology uh, innovation in US. Uh, SVBI is a, a postgraduate distance learning institute committed to help working business professionals acquire new knowledge and enhance their career. So uh, we offer multiple uh, programs. Uh, actually, uh, before we uh, started our degree program, we already offered uh, quite a few non-degree programs for ex executives and also some international business tools, uh, study tools, company tools, venture capital summit, and the innovative trend investigation, uh, et cetera. So uh, an M online MBA program in English is a natural extent of our business. And I will introduce this uh, more details later. So here is the certification uh, SVB I currently have. Uh, actually, we got uh, approval from uh, BPPE, the Bureau for Private Post-Secondary uh, Education, uh, for four different uh, programs, including online MBA program in uh, two different languages and the online uh, Masters of Computer Science program in two languages. Uh, but to start first, uh, SVBI currently focuses on the, uh, one of the program, which is the online MBA program in English. Uh, to start first. And for the online MBA program, uh, we have multiple courses. Uh, it offers a very flexible schedule uh, to like for both full-time and part-time students. Uh, students need to complete 12 courses, uh, which is uh, 36 units to obtain the master degree. And as you can see from the left side, we have uh, eight core courses. So they are must have courses uh, in order to uh, uh, get the degree, uh, which includes from business analytics, uh, manager accounting, financial management, leadership management, human resource management, marketing management, organization behavior, and the business marketing strategy. So those are uh, eight core courses. Uh, in the meantime, we also have several elective courses for students to uh, choose based on their own interest and uh, career development needs. So as you can see, you only need to uh, choose four elective courses out of those, uh, including project management, change management, technical management, managing innovation, managing information systems, um, business marketing strategy advanced, and the international business negotiation, uh, and also quantitative methods for decision making. So uh, this is a, a brief introduction. Note that uh, all these courses are not uh, like uh, fixed uh, like every year. So we keep you know, evolving based on the students' needs. Uh, for example, maybe in the next degree program, uh, we like based on the market needs and the students' like career needs, we may like introduce new courses into our core course set, but to remove some like from the set. But all of this like won't affect uh, like anyone like from obtaining the master degree as long as they finish 12 like course uh, from the this whole program, okay. And here is a, a brief introduction about the timeline uh, for how to like get the MBA uh, degree from SVBI. So first uh, we need to submit the application online and uh, get a quick feedback. Uh, in the later slides, I will introduce like what kind of information we need like uh, as an official application. Uh, here, we just want to highlight that there's no GMAT or GRE required for this application, which is I think a big thing for many of the part-time students uh, because they don't have time to get a GMAT or GRE score uh, for 
application. And after that, uh, our team will review all these applications and issue and the offer letter. So students need to sign the offer letter to officially accept this you know, admission and then pay the tuition online uh, and enroll the courses. We will uh, discuss a bit more details about the tuition and the enrollment process. Uh, then we turn into the academic stages, right? We work with senior famous professors and we're lucky to have Debbie uh, in today's session and Debbie will uh, introduce her courses later uh, for, for that. And the industry educators from top companies will also get a chance to connect with instructors and the students via uh, discussion forums. And uh, in addition to that, there are some optional uh, stages, uh, including the uh, study tour and the graduation uh, ceremony. So the study tour will also offering the company tour uh, executive course at uh, like big famous you know, uh, universities and also some high end form or uh, summit. But all these are optional and uh, they are not included or covered by the tuition fee. Uh, so uh, please reach out to us if you are interested, uh, interested uh, into that part as well. Okay. And here is just uh, some uh, history of what uh, SVBI has organized uh, in the past. Like, for example, we have organized the Global Disruptive Innovation Summit uh, two years ago, and we have uh, many like study abroad like uh, groups, company tours, theme summit, and uh, seminars in the past. Okay, now it comes the important part of this info session, which is the uh, Tuition Relief Scholarship Program. Uh, this is a Silicon Valley business student attempt to help students in reducing the cost of their education. We noticed that like people are facing big challenges uh, like the, these years, especially during the COVID uh, time. And we decide to offer this scholarship and exclusive to SVBI's online MBA degree program in 2021. So through our unique education model, we have removed most of the fees for students. However, of course, in order to keep SVBI running and to take care of all the processing work and providing you know, excellent service to our students, we have kept some very small amount of fees and I will make it very transparent to all the students. So the first thing is the students are required to pay a one-time non-refundable enrollment fee of $50 uh, after signing the admission offer, which means that you can submit your application and only once you get reviewed and only SVBI think you are qualified and uh, uh, return you an admission offer. And only if you decide to proceed, say, hey, I would really want to work with AB, um, uh, SVBI on my MBA degree program. And then you, can, you need to submit this $50. So before that, there's no fee actually. And after that, it turns into uh, what we call is cost assessment fee. So in order to obtain credit towards MBA degree, students are required to pay an assessment fee of $200 per course, which means uh, three uh, units at the end of the course. So only if you think, hey, uh, I finished this course and I feel like I really, you know, interested and uh, I really want to make it part of my degree program. And then I pay this $200. But of course you need to pass the, you know, all the exams, finish the homework in order to get the credit uh, for that. And besides that, there is what we call a semester fee. So students are required to pay a fee of $200 at the beginning of each semester. Uh, actually this fee could be used as the assessment fee for one course credit at the end of the course. So you can choose, uh, which means that for one student, he can take you know, multiple courses in a single semester. For example, if I'm interested, I can take you know, three, four courses in a single semester. And in the beginning of semester, I just pay one you know, uh, time of $200. And at the end of the semester, I feel like, okay, uh, out of those, uh, four courses I have taken, I got past uh, two courses, like finished end-to-end uh, -end two courses from that. And I feel like these two courses are very useful to me. And I feel like uh, I can use them as, you know, 
counted to my part of 12 courses towards an MBA, MBA degree. So then I can pay uh, in total of $400 for a credit assessment for those two courses. But since I already paid $200 in the beginning of the semester, then I just only need to pay uh, another $200 uh, for one more courses. So the total cost of per semester is uh, like one time uh, cost assessment fee of $200 and also the entire uh, enrollment fee of $50. Uh, it's not per semester actually, it's just for the whole program. And uh, if you are, Eventually, you want to get an MBA degree. It will cost you just about uh, a bit more than two thousand dollars. But if you feel like, hey, I just want to learn something more. I just want to learn a lot of you know uh, business knowledge, management knowledge, leadership skills, and I am not quite interested in an MBA degree. That is also fine. Then you just need to pay a very small amount of uh, semester fee for each semester. So that's our uh, tuition relief scholarship program. Okay. Yeah. And uh, let's move on. And here is the qualification of tuition relief scholarship. So first, uh, the students must have a full year bachelor degree from an accredited institution or its equivalent. And also they need to provide the diploma and a transcript. Note that if these are not in English, we need an official translation uh, in order to qualify uh, the, to prove that you have, you know, a qualified bachelor degree. And also we need the proof of English proficiency uh, for international students uh, for that. If you have any TOEF or uh, any like English as a secondary language test, uh, that would be sufficient to uh, prove this. And then you also need to submit a, a sim simple resume to describe your uh, education history, your work experience, and your interests, together with a personal statement to describe why you are interested into this program and why you want to take an MBA uh, degree and uh, what is the benefit uh, for you, uh, et cetera, and your long-term career goal. Uh, in the last, of course, once you sign the offer, you need to have a payment of $50 for the enrollment fee. So that's uh, all we need as a to qualification of tuition relief uh, scholarship. Okay. And here is the introduction of uh, uh, some, you know, uh, partners, uh, board members, and uh, instructors of SVBI uh, program. And uh, today uh, we are very lucky to have Debbie. Uh, the professor of marketing and management, uh, who has uh, more than 18 years uh, uh, professional experience uh, of from uh, Kent State University uh, and to introduce her course uh, that will open in SVBI this semester. Uh, and then uh, let me try to uh, hand over to Debbie uh, for a further introduction of the course. Uh, Hi. Yeah. Hi. Um, I'm Debbie Casto. I'm going to be the professor for the marketing class starting here in April. Uh, April 26th, our class will start. Um, I'm actually a uh, also a professor with Kent State University. I've been with Kent State here in Ohio for the last 18 years. I teach marketing and various other business courses, um, advertising, business analytics, in a gamut of other different courses. But uh, like I said, I've been there for about 18 years. Uh, I come to you with about 30 years of business experience, having owned my own business. Uh, I've been a operations manager and um, for, for a couple different businesses. But my, my favorite is teaching for Kent. I absolutely love teaching and working with the students. So. Um, I have a various different degrees, actually. I have a few different degrees. Um, my MBA actually is with Ashland University, and I have an undergrad with Ohio University. Uh, I've also have a certificate with the University of Notre Dame, uh, the University of New Hampshire, and the University of Vermont. So um, I'm an advocate for higher education. So 
uh, with our class this spring, um, you know, marketing has, as I put here in the slide here, are, are coming up. Our marketing has basically grown exponentially. I mean, um, it, marketing is a global phenomenon uh, with competition out there, which it, you know, so incredibly fierce. Marketing is probably one of our most important, um, you know, one of our most important part of our product and getting it out to market. So um, we've moved a long way from the manufacturing, uh, the manufacturing of a product and then trying to sell it. And what we will be working in and focusing on this semester is um, strategic planning, internet marketing, um, uh, SEO, search engine opt optimization. Um, so we'll be looking at the contemporary practices of marketing uh, through how often offerings are established, uh, the meaning for consumers, uh, economic value, position in the, the competitive market. So we're going to be looking at all these different marketing principles, practices, uh, different models, and I'll look at both the traditional and the the current marketing concerns that we're doing, working with right now, uh, because there are a lot of traditional marketing out there that still works. So um, we're gonna take a look at that. Marketing by definition actually is uh, the activity set of institutions in the process for creating, communicating, delivering, and exchanging offerings that have a value for customers, clients, partners at large. So the key words here were value and offerings. With the contemporary practices of marketing, we need to examine through the engagement, um, how offerings are established, um, how meaning, you know, what, what meaning it does it have to a customer, um, obtaining the economic value, and of course, its position in the competitive market, and I'm really talking competitive anymore. So in our class, we're going to be reviewing all of this. We'll review those practices, those different principles, those different models, and of course, looking at both traditional and current, um, current concerns. So we will also look at um, different marketing strategies and comparing those in different, how that works in different markets. We're gonna look at different marketing management issues and concerns. Uh, we're gonna discuss various market functions and their impact in marketing. We're gonna look at marketing research, product research, development, uh, design, advertising, distribution, pricing. I mean, we have a gamut of topics that we're gonna cover throughout this semester. Um, we're also going to be talking about some statistical methods that we use in marketing and how we use those to establish what the uh, marketing performance in the consumer behavior is. So um, with that also we'll be doing um, not just cut, uh, product research but we'll do in consumer research and we'll look at those uh, those key performances. So. Um, there's a lot of different stuff that we're going to cover in this class. Uh, I hope to, it, you know, I hope the knowledge that I bring to the class, you'll, you'll look forward to it, and I'm looking forward to it. So I am really looking forward to having a great semester and working with you. I'm always available with questions. So, you know, let's, let's uh, have a great semester. If there's any questions, feel free to ask. Great. Uh, thank you, Debbie, for the excellent introduction of the uh, course. And uh, uh, your, uh, we are very like honored to have you with your like almost 20 years experience uh, that you can share with our SBBI students. Thank you so much, mm -hmm. Debbie. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. OK, uh, let's move on. OK, uh, so in addition to the marketing costs that uh, David just introduced, we are also uh, offering uh, other four additional elective courses, uh, including financial management, human resource management, organizational behavior, leadership and management uh, in this semester. But all these are totally optional and uh, uh, 
you can choose to take it or do not take it, uh, but uh, it won't charge you like any fee in the beginning of the semester uh, for this. Okay. And then here, we also like to introduce, just briefly introduce our online learning system. And here is a screenshot of uh, like the SVBI uh, online learning tools because uh, we offer all these courses uh, uh, through distance learning. So there is no on-site on -site, you know, course for this. Uh, but you can see that uh, from this uh, learning system, you can see all the courses uh, in the past and uh, uh, what you have taken. Uh, and also uh, for each course, like you can see the session, the lecture video, the weekly quiz, the discussion form, and also the submission of uh, like, if you have any questions, uh, etc. So we uh, actually, we started this program uh, like two years ago, and we already have quite a few courses uh, in the system. Uh, and we'll keep, you know, uh, rolling more and more courses into this learning system. Okay. And here is the uh, online MBA uh, degree uh, diploma. Uh, once you get fully, you know, accredited for all the 12 courses, you will receive this Master of Business Admission uh, certificate uh, and it's globally available. Uh, and here is the QR code for apply the tuition relief scholarship. Uh, note that uh, this is only like exclusive starting this uh, semester. And uh, just because we want to like help and reduce uh, the, or help people to taking the, uh, resolving the challenges that they're facing during the COVID time. So this is uh, very time limited. And if you're interested, please uh, feel free to uh, scan this QR code. Okay. Uh, any questions, if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, type in the chat or raise your hand like so I can unmute you uh, to speak. Okay. I mean, if not, uh, we can move forward. Oh, by the way, since I noticed that quite a few like uh, students in this uh, interest, like have interest to, to this program are Chinese. Uh, so we actually will also offer another uh, you know, uh, WeChat QR code to for you to scan if you want to have for like further Mandarin speaking support. Uh, please also like try to scan this uh, QR code. Uh, okay, and for anything, uh, you can please feel free to send an email to contact at svbi.org or uh, text to the phone number eight five eight eight three two three thousand. And also, there is more information on the svbi.org uh, website for this. Yeah. Any questions? Uh, let me go back to this uh, apply uh, QR code. Courses all in videos. Uh, Yes, since uh, all of our MBA degree program like is online, so which means that you can access all the content uh, like uh, online in our learning systems. Uh, not only course, but also like the homework, the quiz is everything is online. No, oh, it's a it's an online course, uh, MBA MBA degree program. And we think it's perfect, especially like for these uh, remote, you know, uh, learning opportunities. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the question. Oh yeah, sure. For the question about the process to have the scholarship, please feel free to you know uh, have a phone call uh, later or uh, scan the WeChat QR code to get more detailed support. Yeah, please feel free to do so. So regarding the first question about what's the criteria to receive the admission to this program? Uh, yes, uh, let me go back to the qualification section.
here, yeah. These are the basic criteria. So first, you must have a, a four-year bachelor degree from an accredited institution or its equivalent. And you also need to provide diploma and a transcript uh, translated to English. Uh, you also need to prove the English proficiency. And the rest, I think uh, every student, so you can do that. But based on all of this information, uh, like our team will review the application and make a final decision. Uh, but we won't charge you unless until you sign the offer, accept the offer with us uh, for that. Because uh, like we want to keep like making sure that students, uh, once they start and taking the course, they, are, they have full motivation to finish this course uh, and to end. So that's also one of the most important thing we really uh, like uh, feel important for both students and our program. Uh, oh, I have seen quite a few new questions. I said, we can learn video when I have an... Oh yeah, exactly. That's actually an excellent question. So we realize that not everyone, you know, they have uh, time, uh, like for a fixed time slot every week, right? And also we noticed that there is time zone difference between, for example, Bay Area and New York, right? So it's very hard to coordinate people like uh, on the same time slot to start to learn together, um, even online. So what we do is that in addition to offering this online learning, we also record all the course videos. So that if like, you are not available at the course time, it's totally fine. You can pick up when you have time, right? After work or in the weekend, when you have more free time by yourself, you can just uh, look at the video, right? Follow the instructor's like uh, syllabus and uh, finish the homework. That's totally fine. That, that also works. Yeah. Uh, any agency to translate for us? Uh, Yes, of course, if you are interested in getting this like translation service, please also feel to, free to reach out to us through this uh, either text the phone number uh, or send an email to contact at svbi.org. Uh, so we definitely, we want to help everyone uh, set it up for success. The scholarship for every, uh, yes, yes, for, but, this is, uh, I think, the limited opportunity starting from this semester. We don't know how it will continue to work like next year or so, but as long as you have applied and received this scholarship like this time, it will like be applied to your entire MBA degree program. Maybe next year we decide to, hey, uh, we want to like increase the price of fees a bit, a little bit, but that won't affect any of the students who applied before and got the scholarship before. Yeah. And if we are interested, please feel free to uh, scan this uh, QR code for submit uh, initial uh, online application. Uh, of course, after that, you need to submit uh, quite a few other uh, you know, attachments, including your diploma, including your transcript, a resume, et cetera. But at least you can start like this progress and have a, a record in our system uh, right now. Any other questions? Uh, in okay. In order to graduate in eighteen months, we must be full time. Ah, uh, yeah. So, sorry for confusion. Uh, eight eighteen months is a typical, you know, uh, months we are expecting students to graduate. But here we don't have a very strong restriction. Say, hey, uh, students must be able to graduate within eighteen months. Uh, for that, definitely. Uh, not, you know, that harsh. So if you have a personal reason, for example, I'm busy with my own 
you know, work on career. I need to get promoted. So I need to fully focus on my career for, you know, half year. That's totally fine. Uh, you can hold it. Uh, that's totally fine. And we are not like uh, saying, hey, then you don't, you don't qualify. You can continue, you know, uh, resume your study uh, in this program later. So what to do is the first step. So first step, if you're interested, please uh, scan this, uh, what I shared in the screen, uh, scan me. So this will have a initial form uh, submitted to our uh, SVBI team. And then we will review the initial form and uh, reach out to you uh, later. But if we have any further uh, questions, please feel free to either make a phone call or text the phone numbers uh, we shared uh, here, or send an email to contact at svbi.org so that we can, uh, we have this uh, in, like keep this in our reader for processing. Can I join this course any time? Okay, that's a very good question. Um, so for the, if we're talking about the full MD, MBA degree program, you can join uh, at any semester if you want, right? It doesn't mean that, hey, we only accept new applicants like in the spring every year. No, that's not the case. Actually, uh, we have a full uh, semester last year and uh, we have other semesters before. So you can join from any semester uh, in a year to start your own you know, MBA degree uh, trajectory. Uh, there. Uh, that's for the MBA degree program. And regarding the course, uh, yes, you, I mean, if unfortunately you miss like the course opening, I think on April 26th, right? But if unfortunately you have some other personal reasons and you miss that, you say, hey, can I join in mid May or even, you know, early June, right? Yes, you can. It will come into the same semester. So remember that you only need to pay one uh, like semester fee uh, per semester. But you are, if you are saying, hey, I paid this, uh, the fee for this semester. I already like uh, participated in one course. And in the middle of the semester, you say, hey, actually I'm interested in taking one more course, right? Then you need to finish, right? You can start like taking the video for that course, like even in the middle of the semester. As long as you can finish all the homework quiz, right? And by the end of the semester, you can accomplish that course. Yeah, you still have opportunity, right? To uh, get the corresponding uh, three credit unit uh, from taking that additional course. Yeah, so that's, I think the flexible way we try to offer to our students. You don't need to like be right on time, right? For like the, beginning of the semester. What's the criteria for getting the scholarship? Is it depends on undergraduate grades or working experience? Uh, yeah, that's a very good question. Uh, actually, it's a mixed. I cannot say like, hey, if you have this, 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 then uh, you definitely uh, qualify a scholarship. I cannot say that. Uh, but uh, whether you have a scholarship or not, we will notify you through the offer letter. So then you can decide, hey, if unfortunately there's no scholarship, you can decide to not accept the offer. That's totally fine. Then there's no fee, actually, even no enrollment fee. But uh, in general, what I would highly recommend is that, uh, let me go through the qualification page again. Yeah. So. What I think what cannot be changed, right? Because it happens in the past and it, uh, it stays in the past is the bachelor degree, the diploma, the transcript, what you already have, right? And you, I don't think people can change it, but have a very good resume, right? Describing your working experience. I mean, there's no strong requirement of you must have, like being, for example, working at big name companies. No, there's no such a requirement. But a good resume, especially a good personal statement, really helps, right? So we really understand that uh, you have strong motivation uh, to, you know, take this MBA degree and finish it. 
So we really encourage people once you take this uh, opportunity, you really want to finish this uh, towards the end. Like uh, it will be very sad, like for us to see if people drop in the middle. So I think that is one of the uh, like very critical uh, factor we want to evaluate when we review all the applications. Does this method have different school starting date from others? Oh yeah, that's a good question. Yes, uh, actually, uh, we are not tied with uh, you know uh, the regular or normal like offsite like in person university or school uh, timeline. It's very flexible. And uh, right now this year because of COVID, we kind of hold it for a while because many students they are facing a lot of challenges uh, in their life. So we hold it for a while. We don't want to like put a lot of pressure uh, on our students. So based on the request, we hold a while. And uh, uh, because you know all the vaccines stuff, like things are getting back to normal smoothly. So we say, hey, let's start like back to uh, resume our uh, MBA MBA degree program. And uh, usually we have uh, three or four semesters uh, every year. Really depends. Uh, and it's very flexible. And uh, as I mentioned before, um, all the courses are recorded in video. So it's also for very flexible for students. Uh, you don't need to be right on time. Say, hey, I, I just you know, catch this semester start time. You don't need to rush for that. Uh, you can actually join uh, any time in the semester, but you must uh, of course finish all the video courses and all the homework in order to you know, uh, get the final uh, three credit unit per course uh, in the end of the semester. But uh, uh, one, one more thing I just want to clarify that if unfortunately you cannot finish those homeworks, right? Uh, totally fine. Then in the next semester, you can keep rolling on it, right? You don't need to rush or you don't need to start from like uh, scratch. Say, hi, I need to redo everything uh, from the beginning. No, uh, actually uh, for the same course, you just need to continue finish that. I think our idea is that we want to really want to leverage all these online learning, you know, advantages and making sure we offer the most flexible way for those part-time people to get uh, the, you know, opportun these opportunities. How to deal with a group project? That's actually a very good question. So if you see the, Give me one second, let me. Yeah, if you see this online learning system, you can see that there is, for example, discussion forms and uh, submissions. So definitely, if you are interested like in partner with some other students uh, in certain course project, you can do so, feel free to do so. But uh, which means that like all the parties involved like in that as a group, uh, they must, uh, you know, uh, commit. Say, hey, we really want to finish this group project together, right? It will be a, a bit sad if one of them just, uh, you know, drop in the middle. That that would be very sad. But in the meantime, we also like from the university side, we actually considered like the challenges that students may come from different state, right? Even abroad from different countries. Uh, we have some students interested, but uh, he's from UK, for example, and they have, you know, time zone difference. They have all these challenges. So from the, uh, you know, university side, we don't enforce saying, hey, uh, there will always be group project and you must form a group in order to accomplish that project. I think we think it's very uh, challenging for some of the students. So it's totally fine if you um, like, don't want to form a group to handle that project, that's totally fine. You can completely do it by yourself, like with your own flexibility. What does it mean on study abroad? Uh, yeah, because this is an online program. So there's no physical restriction. Say, hey, this student must you know, live in US or Canada. Right. So as long as you qualify, the student is qualified, right, uh, has a bachelor degree, has proof 
of uh, English proficiency, has a diploma and a transcript, he can apply anywhere from the world. There's no such restriction. Actually, uh, in addition to get the approval from BPPE, uh, SVBI is also working with uh, DEAC, which is a distance education academic uh, accreditation uh, like party to get this uh, even more accredited and also ask uh, for this. So there is no strong requirement saying, hey, uh, this student must uh, you know, live in US because that's the traditional you know, offline uh, learning and they need to apply, uh, for example, the F1 or uh, F1 visa right, in order to come to US uh, to like join the university as a student. But with everything online, there's no such a requirement. But in the meantime, of course, right, uh, we don't like offer this uh, student visa support uh, for like, if you want to join. Yeah. Yeah, I think I just answered that question. Uh, I don't think right now we uh, offer this because uh, our program is uh, completely online. So uh, I don't think like, uh, it's a, you know, uh, legal to just offer or issue an, or support the F1 visa for students uh, on that. Uh, but there are some other like program, not, on, not completed online that we may offer the later uh, for that. Yeah. Can we join the program which, with the H1B status? Uh, oh yeah, actually we don't like evaluate or review your uh, status. So no matter if you are H1B uh, status or if you, are, you hold a green card or if you are currently, you know, uh, some other, like, or for example, uh, you know, J1 or F1, we, we actually, we don't evaluate that at all. For example, for students, like they are inter interested in UK, right? They don't have any uh, visa. Uh, in US, right? So uh, it's not part of our uh, application review. So. Yeah. Okay. Oh, a very good question. And thanks for asking this. Uh, we should clarify that a lot like in our website and uh, yeah. Yeah, again, let me promote the uh, scan QR code uh, here. And also the WeChat QR code uh, with uh, Mandarin speaking support here. I couldn't see anywhere to submit my resume in this form. Oh yeah. So uh, this form is used for initial, like just to kick off the application. Uh, once like we reviewed your initial information, we will reach out to you uh, like for more detailed information. For example, not only the resume, but also the proof like of uh, English proficiency, the, the scan copy of the diploma and the transcript, right? Of this, uh, we need to collect it uh, through email uh, for that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, I think 
uh, we are approaching to the time and uh, seems like we answered uh, quite a few uh, questions. So again, uh, we just want to highlight uh, the most important thing for this online MBA degree program is that we want to offer the most flexible and affordable way for students to you know, advance their career. And what we really care is that we want to make sure the students are set up success for success. And we highly encourage students once they get you know, enrolled in this program, we highly encourage students to finish end to end and eventually get a degree. So that's what we really want to like see the, stu the students can like eventually get success in the end. Yeah. And I thank you for all the questions. How many credits for each course? Three credits. Yes, three credits for each course. Uh, 12 uh, costs in total in order to you know, uh, obtain the final MBA degree. Uh, and uh, uh, one more thing, uh, I also want to share with you that we're working with DEAC and WASC. So once this get approved by, in addition to BPBE, once it get approved by DEAC and WASC as well, then the course, you, the students that have taken in SVBI online MBA degree program can be transferred to other universities uh, in future if they are also working with the DEAC and WASC in future. Uh, so this, we are expecting this to happen in next uh, one or two years. Uh, but if, if you finish your degree before that, that also apply. So it won't say, hey, because uh, like this is uh, approved by WASC, let's say two years later, then all the previous costs doesn't count. No, it still count. So that's, I think, one more exciting thing. So if in future you want to apply, for example, PhD or some other, you know, degree program in other universities, there is a chance that you can, you know, transfer your uh, credit. So th you, you don't need to take, you know, the, a similar class again in another university. So that's another big thing. Uh, Okay, yeah, I think that's pretty much. Uh, thanks everyone for attending the information uh, session today. Uh, it's really like great to see you and uh, talking with you guys and uh, looking forward to your application. And uh, please feel free to reach out to us via email or phone uh, anytime. Uh, thank you so much and uh, see you in the new semester. Thank you. Bye.